Hey, welcome back to Lord Fussington's walkthrough of the critically acclaimed game Demon's Souls. I'm your walkthrough master, Lord Fussington, and this is part two of Pure Black World Tendency Events, the part after part one. And in this part, this being part two, we will not only be uh, fighting Black Phantom Lord Riddell, Rydell, whatever, but also Scurver the Wanderer. They will both be in Black Phantom forms. And uh, we'll get uh, two primeval demons. And by we, I mean me, because I'm the one playing. Um, yes, and the primeval demon, you can see one over there, actually. So basically, this video encompasses both Stonefang Tunnel and uh, Tower of Latria. Okay, and they're both, as you just saw, they're both in... The world tendency for both worlds are pure black. Or is pure black. For both worlds is, is pure black. Okay. Grammar issues aside, take a right here. Um, the primeval demon shows up uh, a shade less than pure black world tendency, um, as well as pure black world tendency, so both negative four and negative three, if you're using the number system. Um, yeah, and uh, killing it is worth. Um, well, affects tendency, world tendency by three. So, uh, if you're negative four, if you're in pure black world tendency, you have shifted the, you'll shift the world by, uh, by positive three, which make, oh, did you see what I did right there? Yep. Fantastic editing on my part. Yeah, I'm learning how to use the program. So I've managed to make the video look more shit than it usually does. So now, not only is there shit commentary, there's also shit visuals. So, I hope that doesn't um, hurt anyone's eyes or anything like that. What was I saying before I got sidetracked, which is such a rarity? Um, oh yeah, the, the primeval demon. So, if I'm at negative four, you know, plus three, that's negative one, of course. And, um, yeah, that's that's what's happened to the, the tendency right now. But it only takes effect when I leave. So right now, it's still at pure black world tendency. If I left to go to the nexus... Uh, and looked at my world tendency um, sort of chart thing or whatever, uh, it wouldn't be pure black anymore. It would be, well, it would look neutral. Um, negative one being a sort of neutral. It's not considered black. Negative three is considered black. Negative two, negative one, and uh, one are all considered less neutral than neutral but still in the neutral zone anyway it's not really important what is important is st staying in the world after you've killed one of the either the black phantom or the primeval demon because if you do that if you stay in the world then it doesn't have an effect and then you won't have to um consume stones of ephemeral eyes uh, and commit suicide to regain your um pure black world tendency Although, if you don't mind and you have the Stones of Ephemeral Eyes and you want to leave, that's all fine. Uh, I prefer just doing everything at once. You farm first, and then you go kill these two things, right? Um, basically, the two enemies that will affect your world tendency and move it towards white. Okay, so there's a Scurver of the Wanderer. I died four times. One time was me just falling down. Uh, so, you know, if you're looking for expert gameplay, this is the place to be, because... Uh, there's, there hasn't been a more impressive battle than the one that you're just about to witness. This is all sarcasm, because I do a terrible job here. I mean, just pretty dismal. Uh, so I'm going to explain how... I don't even know what, what my problem was that day, to be honest. Because it was... I think all of... The, I think when I was d recording the Pure Black World Tendency videos, I just did a terrible job. There's also a lot of editing that goes into the video, so I cut out... You know, like, you should only see two deaths, well actually, I watched the video back, there's three deaths, including the fall, which I thought I deleted. Um, or is there only two deaths? Well, I guess we'll see. Oh, it'll be a surprise for everyone. Um, okay, let's talk about Skurver. Skurver does a lot of fire damage, okay? Um, he does ignite, he does fireball, he does fire spray, um, and he also has regeneration. Now, this is how you should be fighting Skurver if you're going melee. You want to basically just dodge the fireballs 
until he has he has any magic left. Now I do that. Initially, I did that, and then I kind of thought, oh well, maybe I'll just go slash him now, and you know, obviously, ray, uh, put down my shield at the same time, so I take a fireball to the face, or maybe that was ignite. I think it was fireball, or maybe it was ignite. It doesn't matter. What happened is he burned my face, right, and I died. As you do if your face is burned, you'd immediately die, and then you'd lose uh, all your souls. So, basically, you want to just dodge his fireballs, okay? So just go back and forth, just, uh, your strafe, and, uh, is it strafe? Is it strafe? You know, it is my first day. I've never played video games before. Um, actually, that's just a, another English issue, isn't it? Okay. So you just want to walk back and forth and um, dodging the fireballs, of course. And then he'll eventually he'll lose. He won't have any magic left, so um, you won't have any, uh, yeah, or mana or whatever it's called. I think it's called magic in this game, isn't it? So uh, once he doesn't have any left, then he'll just start attacking melee. And then it makes everything a lot easier because he's really easy if he only. If he's just using a sword, then he just becomes like uh, a really, really, really weak version of Execution Emeralda. That's why I don't really talk strategy with Execution Emeralda, because it's pretty simple, you know. Um, generally, you just want to dodge with him, okay? Uh, you don't really want to block, because his fireball uh, bullshit still does a lot of... I don't know why I'm jumping on this area, it's so stupid. It was an off day. Oh, and this is a fantastic... And we also just saw the fall, but this is a fantastic moment here. Uh, I decide, okay, I'm going to do my old strategy where I just use a bow and arrows and shit. And then I realize I don't have that many arrows. And I also realize that I'm missing pretty much every shot, which you'll see in a second. So that's the regeneration there, right? I didn't even interrupt him from doing it. Um, because my aim is perfect. Um, so this is one of the strategies, actually. You could just sit here and um, bring a lot of arrows and uh, fire. Make sure you interrupt his regeneration uh, unlike what I did. Basically you want to do the opposite of what I do because I'm shit. Um, I am the walkthrough master of course and that's why uh, I'm shit. It, it's, just, it's just entirely logical. So self-proclaimed of course. Not the shit part. Well that's also self-proclaimed actually. But that's, act that's accurate. Um, what was I saying? God, I'm getting sidetracked, now, aren't I? So, well, in a way, actually, the commentary is matching the video. They're both absolutely uh, poorly done. Okay, right, bow and arrow. So you can just stand here and do this, this the entire time. It'll take a lot of arrows, but eventually he'll be dead. Um, it's an easy strategy as well. Uh, melee, you gotta, you know, get there near him and just keep rolling away from the fireballs and uh, eventually you won't have any mana left and that's when you can just attack him so that's also that's harder but it's not it's not impossible I don't know why I didn't do it in this video um, I think I I think that that man I don't know why I really don't know oh yeah cuz I'm an idiot the other way is magic of course um, it's, I mean, it's really, I would sort of, how do I do with my mage? No, I think I, for, yeah, I think I forced, I, I think I forced him to do the fireballs or whatever, dodge them, and then I fought him, um, with magic, or maybe I just used the, my S-talk, um, I upgraded S-talk, so, yeah, it's the same sort of concept. You're going to have to dodge a lot. Uh, fire resistant stuff does work as well, of course. You could get the large brushwood shield instead of the purple flame shield, or just the large brushwood armor if you can wield it. Uh, Dragon Bone Smasher upgraded, of course, will give you fire resistance um, and the f uh, flame resistance. Flame resistance? Ring? Isn't it called the fire resistance ring? Probably. Um, so that's it, really. And in terms of this, this is actually quite bad, as you can see. 
Um, maybe I was drunk. I don't know. That would be a nice excuse, wouldn't it? But I was probably sober and probably just playing to the best of my ability. So you want to uh, make sure you hit him, which means he does move a lot, by the way. Like, he will roll out of the way um, when you get near him as well. Look at that. Could have interrupted the regeneration. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to try to miss him entirely. And, uh, well, that was the only success. By the way, in terms of me actually killing him, oh, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be... I mean, really, it's a glorious moment. Um, and it's not embarrassing at all, actually. It's very legitimate. And, um, you know, I think it's just a reflection of my, um, you know, my my ability to strategize against an opponent and then use his weaknesses against him and use my strengths. <laughs> I know, right? What an idiot. Skurver is an idiot, you know. And I'm a genius, and uh, that's why I am uh, the walkthrough master, because I basically kill things by having them commit suicide. Okay, if he, if you do get that, if he does fall, uh, your character tendency will not be affected. Generally, you want to affect your character tendency uh, towards, um, like, f in your first playthrough, you want to get towards a sort of positive character tendency so you can get the friend's ring from uh, the monumental. Right, so I didn't kill him, and there's not that many opportunities anyways. So that's an opportunity missed for this this particular character. So you kind of don't want to do the fatal fall when it's your first playthrough, or if you're trying to get, or just if you're trying to get the friend's ring, or if you're just trying to get white character, pure white character tendency. So it's not a great way to do it. Because um, if I wanted to do that, if I wanted to just push him off, I would have just brought like Storm Ruler or Dragon Bone Smash or anything that would knock him off. Uh, so that was not exactly what I wanted to do. No, no, it is. That's exactly what. It, that's really what it really was. My plan. And um, it worked. It was just brilliant. Moving on to um, to uh, Tower of Latria now. I'm going to drop all kinds of stuff off. Also, my stuff isn't even that upgraded. Which doesn't really help matters if I'm doing this. Because uh, the Black Phantoms, of course, are much more difficult. Higher H, more HP, more, uh, you know, more defense. And uh, attack power as well, but it takes longer to kill them. So you should have things a little bit upgraded. You shouldn't really be using the Crescent Falchion anymore, to be honest. Uh, I use it because, uh, well, actually, a lot of it just comes down to absolute laziness. I just don't change. I mean, funnily enough, it's actually my highest... For this character, it's my highest upgraded weapon. Uh, but it's not particularly useful. Especially, uh, I think I used it against Lord Riddell as well, who has a bit of def uh, magic defense. So, uh, magic resistance. So, yeah, really planned that out well. I don't even take the uh, Dark Silver Shield either. So this is just a disaster all around. So take notes, take notes, and do the... Do the exact opposite. Okay. Oh, by the way, when uh, that glowing thing happened there earlier on in the video, that amazing bit of editing that I did, um, uh, basically that was me walking. I basically, I just said basically about four times, because basically I'm a twat. But that was me walking from uh, two dash one all the way to 2-2. Two two. Okay, so I didn't get, go back to Nexus or anything, I stayed in the world. Actually, I think the glowing thing makes a return in this part of the video as well. So uh, look out for it because it's it's just a crafty bit of, of editing on my part and um, I'm sure it's really impressive. I mean, I saw it and it looked, it looked really good. Um, sort of like if you were staring up from the bottom of a well. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, um, it's a bit claustrophobic. 
and bleak if you're really thinking about being in the well. So, although then it sort of matches the game, doesn't it? Matches is. It matches is the game. Matches is being a word that I invented. I'm very much like Shakespeare. Uh, this is a great walkthrough, isn't it? Yeah. So, we're going to go kill... I'm sure I've said this, but we're going to go kill Lord Riddell, as I call him. It's probably Rydell, but... Rydell sounds really shit. And so does Riddell. In fact, everything does. He's the blue phantom. Well, actually, he's going to be a black phantom here. I wonder if he's a... I wonder if... He must be a purple phantom, then. Oh, uh, that was... That was another moment of me being clever. <laughs> yep. If you don't uh, watch the entire video, I don't actually blame you. By the way, if, um, about, um, I didn't really talk about pure black world tendency or anything in this, this video or like how to accumulate. And that's because there's this other video that's posted by, uh, uh, what's this? He's a bit of a tit, but, um, you know, he, 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 he means well and he does, um, try to some degree. Uh, his name is Lord Fossington, and he posted a video, uh, part one of Pure Black World Tendency events, and in that video, Black World Tendency is uh, talked about quite a bit. He also has some videos on, uh, oh, and they're fantastically shit, uh, on uh, Pure White World Tendency events, so, you know, check those out as well, you know. Pretty, um, pretty fantastic stuff, yep. And uh, so there's a uh, Lord Lord Riddell who looks a little bit purple. He doesn't look purple at all, but you know, I mean that glowing shit is making him look a little bit purple. But I know the glowing shit's actually blue. And it's just because. So okay, how do you deal with Lord Riddell? So uh, you should have. I mentioned Dark Silver Shield earlier on. You should be. Equ you should have that equipped. And this is melee right now, right? So you should have that equipped. You should have an upgraded weapon that um, that complements your stats, or or a weapon that is complemented by your stats. So that means if you're dex build, you should have maybe a katana, for instance, right? An upgraded katana. Um, right now, I have a crescent falchion. So he has a bit of magic resistance, so Crescent Falchion, not exactly the best choice, especially when it's not really upgraded that much. But it doesn't really matter. With him, you just want to get into a space where it isn't narrow. So this isn't obviously a narrow space, this being, as you can see, n anyway, I don't know why I'm explaining narrow. Everyone knows what narrow means. So you want to get into this area. He well, that area over there is actually much better than where I just ran to. So right here, this is a pretty good area to fight him. Um, you just have to watch out for the that sphere of the bodies that shoots uh, soul ray or whatever. Okay, right. So he's not that difficult to dodge, and it really is a dodging game. You don't want to block too much with him, unless you do have the dark silver shield. Uh, because if he does hit you, even when your shield is up, the magic damage will essentially penetrate the shield. Um, or like the purple flame shield, for instance. Not necessarily a dark silver shield, of course, because that resists magic. So, you go so you can see how much damage he does two-handed, even when he hits the shield. That was about half my health. Um... What you want to do is kind of always go to the right, it's, and even w if you stay a little bit away, of like in his range, but you kind of just always go to the right, you usually dodge his stupid spinning when he spins his uh, his staff and then, then hits you. Um, when he's two-handed, that's when you just want to watch out and make sure you really get those rolls timed properly, because those hurt. The one-handed, not so much. It's basically like fighting. Also, it's like fighting Garl of Inland. You, it's it's a bait and attack concept. 
right so you get near enough to him that he attacks you either back up or kind of get around him uh, and you back up and you attack and then you go in and you attack or you get behind him and you backstab or just attack from behind as well you should try to get the backstabs and I'm not doing a very good job here um, and yeah he'll die and he's not he's not that difficult you know it's not Scriver the Wanderer so uh, mainly because you have a lot of room to maneuver Oh yeah, I also recommend having second chance up for all of these fights. Because it gives you a second chance, hence the name second chance. Just brilliant work there, brilliant work. In terms of magic, magic doesn't work badly. I mean, he does have magic resistance, but I I mean, I did it with the mage and it was okay. Uh bow and arrows is I mean that's a that's a really great method. I think I use that with my dex build actually. Um, takes a little bit of time, but basically from where he starts, you just sh you know shoot at him, and this works with magic as well. You just shoot at him, right, and then he'll come running at you. Then you just leave, and um, you know basically lose the aggro, and he'll walk back to the spot, and you just rinse and repeat. So it's not it's not hard at all. Uh, and with the bow and arrows, it's a little bit better because you don't have to get as close, right? So you won't be running as far away afterward and then running back. And with the mage, um, the mage you can also do, you know, fight up close as well. You know, it's the same concept here. You just bait him and then, uh, you know, dodge and then use your your attacks. By the way, uh, the black phantoms, killing them um, affects character tendency by one and affects world tendency by three i don't know if i said that was scurver although scurver fell so he didn't so i didn't affect character tendency at all right you've got to kill him um not have him kill himself so that's how that works and these are black phantoms of course not uh well you, you saw that because they were they were clearly black phantoms not quite sure what I'm doing right now. Well, now we've got to go get the primeval demon. Also, these guys only... The black phantoms, or rather the uniquely named black phantoms, they only show up in pure black world tendency, right? So only negative four. The primeval demons show up in both negative three and negative four. And black phantoms like him, he's not usually there, right? Uh, so the, these are black phantoms that take a form... that take the form of an enemy. Uh, they show up in negative three, so just black. Well, negative three and negative four, but they start by showing up. They're basically like the primeval demons, essentially, except they don't affect your world tendency at all. Uh, and they don't drop colorless demon souls, and they don't look like primeval demons. Essentially, they just show up. At, anyway, I don't know why I'm getting into this. Um, but, yeah, I don't go searching for them. I think I mentioned it in the in part one of pure black world tendency because most of them are a waste of time and um, you know if I run into them you kill them if not whatever so right now I'm, so I don't want to leave the world because I just killed black phantom uh, Lord Riddell and I don't want to affect world tendency um, or I don't want that action to take effect uh, the action of killing Lord Riddell in Black F when he was in Black Phantom form. So I'm not leaving this world. I'm staying in it and going to 3-2. So a lot of time you have to walk through everything. I mean, it was the same thing with the the Pure White World Tendency events, except the Pure White World Tendency events, uh, there's really just... It's just the phantoms, really not the phantoms, the body formed NPCs that affect the world there aren't any primeval demons essentially there's not like two things to kill that both affect um, the world's tendency quite a bit did I mention primeval demons affect the world by three by when you kill them good, well I just mentioned oh, do you see that? that was amazing there 
So, yeah, really, um, really impressive visuals. And by impressive, I mean quite shit. So you want to get here. I think I took the one near Yurt, where Yurt used to be. Uh, you just want to get back to this area. Get on the boardwalk. Uh, and the boardwalk leads to two areas, right? One's a dead end, and the other one is... Well, basically leads towards the second chain that we had that we had to cut, right? Um, you want to get to the dead end, essentially. And that is where the primeval demon is. So find a way onto the boardwalk, which means um, be near the boardwalk to get onto the boardwalk. I'm just obviously wandering through the swamp. I mean, I'm sure I was near a little couple of stairs. Actually, I think I was probably looking for the dead end from here. Um, just so that I could figure out a way to get near it. Yep. I'm just enjoying the view. Just, uh... Okay, on the boardwalk. Wow, what a tricky enemy. Uh, by the way, primeval demons... I mean, usually, pretty much most of the time, they'll drop uh, colorless demon souls. Sometimes they don't. It's not the end of the world. Oh, yeah, also, I didn't mention something about uh, Skurver. Um, if he... Uh, falls or for whatever reason by the way you don't want you don't want to do that you want to make sure that you kill him properly you don't have him fall down like I did um, if he falls uh, actually you can always just go get but you say you can't get the items for whatever reason um, if you just leave if you just reload um, they'll be where he died or where he where he spawned if I remember correctly I don't think that's. I don't think I've ever had that problem. Oh, I think I did with um, old King Doran. I think he's the only one that's ever fallen. Um, other than uh, <laughs> this, this, this run with Skurver the Wanderer. Old King Doran usually uses a fatal fall me uh, method. Actually, is that true? Yeah, I think it is. No, I don't think it's usually... Yeah, I think it is usually the case. Well, now I'm arguing with myself. So, thanks. Well, it's actually not anyone's fault, but... But, but my, I've got issues. Got issues. So, there's the uh, primeval demon. And uh, these things are... Uh, they've got faces on them. Okay. So here's the primeval demon. So um, just slash it in, uh, you know, its body or whatever. And uh, there you go. There's the colorless demon soul. Okay, so that's it for this video. The next video is part three of Pure Black World Tendency Events. Uh, it encompasses the um, Shrine of Storms and uh, what's the other place? Valley of Defilement. So f it's going to be fantastic. That's Sage Freck, and I've been Lord Fussington. Thank you very much for watching.